Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to the third video of tonight. And as I was saying in the last video there in part two of Michael Jackson, of his, you know, uh, announcement for the tour, this is it in London, when Michael Jackson, you know, made a speech for the tour. And I always thought he looked ready, he looked that he could do the tour and even putting the photograph down of Michael Jackson when he said see you in July and then he died, he passed you know but um, remembering Michael Jackson in his last days when he was alive and he and we did get to see him just up until before he died at least we got to see him and we got that this is it we seen the rare footage of Michael getting ready for the tour we seen Michael Jackson you know getting ready for the tour what he had had for his fans and that is more enough for me because in the this is a DVD I mean those dancers those band leaders those singers didn't even have to put a show on to make it look good Michael Jackson was the king I mean, all they had to do was like just put a song on and put a Guitar Hero legend up there with him, and it would still turn out good. Even if Michael Jackson was just singing on his own, it would still turn out just as good, you know, because he's the king of pop. You know, Michael Jackson knew all his lyrics, he knew everything. But anyway, it's his 61st birthday, celebrating Michael Jackson's, um, birthday because we're near at the end of August so Michael Jackson's birthday was just yesterday I thought the video would have been um, probably published on the 29th but today where I'm from in the UK is uploaded on the 30th so at least I got this video done and I didn't leave it too late because if I had to wait until September and I only realized it was Michael Jackson's birthday just on the 29th there I would I would have been you know raging but I still would have done the video anyway you know in September but it, you know it would, it would have been you know too late you know but at least I'm getting the video done now and we're near the end of August so I just got the video done in time but um I mean like 61 you know if Michael Jackson was here a lot of people would say what would he what what would he would have looked like you know but uh there's something else going on <laughs> there's something else going on guys I hope you guys are with me <laughs> the uh accusers who are saying that Michael Jackson molested them well there's this um guy one of Michael Jackson's friends he uh, or I think it's on Netflix and he didn't um, believe the accusers and he said something about the accusers on Netflix that he does not believe those M, you know, fuckers, you know, something like that. But uh, so one of the Wed Robson, you know, comment back on him, I don't know what it was, but I'm not really interested just because someone else had an opinion for Michael Jackson defending Michael Jackson. You see, that's what they don't like. They don't like. They don't like. They, they don't like people defending Michael Jackson. It's all about them. Now, do you want to know something, guys? Right? I'm gonna be honest, right? I don't get it. Why these accusers are coming out now, saying that Michael Jackson did it? You know. And then, like back in, you know, when in, in Michael Jackson's trial. They were so strong in what they were saying and what they wanted. They wanted to be on the stand and say that Michael Jackson didn't do this. The whole thing is ridiculous. So, what are you about to put? The way I look at it, we're never going to know. You know? We're, uh, the, because there's no proof. There's no evidence. There is nothing. Not one thing that they have on Michael Jackson. And that's what really gets under my skin. It really, really does. I mean, 
Michael Jackson in his last days, the last recent pictures of him, you know, the latest pictures of him was, you know, at Step Center and this picture of him at the London announcement, you know, I like this picture of Michael Jackson at the announcement, you know, and then later on after that, you know, in June, because that was in March. And then later on in June, Michael Jackson, you know, was getting ready for the tour since he made the announcement, which I always thought the announcement was just as good as saying Michael Jackson anyway. At least we got to see him just before he died. It's not like we, it's not like if he had died before and we never got to see him at all, you know. Michael Jackson done the best that he could do. He deserves the rest. Let him live in peace if he is alive. Or if, he's dead, really, or if he's dead, just let him live in peace. I kind of go both ways, you know, just the respect. You know? I mean, even in the newspaper I showed you guys, which I've had for the last, since 2014. You know? And then this book, like I was saying, I wanted to show you this book, guys, as well. Of Michael Jackson, you know? There's a couple of good, you know, pictures in it of Michael Jackson, you know, his family and all that there, you know. So. I just, I don't think, I just don't believe the accusers. I really don't. There's no, there's no proof. The leaving documentary means nothing. It's just... There's nothing to call it, to be honest. There's really nothing. I mean, here's Michael Jackson as a kid in 1970. You know? His whole legacy, his life story, his music is just amazing. His family, his brothers, you know? We're never going to get another entertainer like him. It's sad, but, you know, we just live on his music. We just live on his music, his legacy, and everything about him. You know? Right, Michael Jackson was the king of pop. The way I look at it, guys... Michael Jackson is innocent. And that's the way it's always going to be. These accusers have gone way too far. I mean, Michael Jackson, you know, it's it's, it's just very hard to, very hard to take in. You know, I just don't believe it. I really, really don't. And then here's Michael Jackson, you know, later on in life with Jordan Chancellor or something, whoever you call him, where Michael Jack, where where I think he accused Michael Jackson of molestation, and he could. He could, Michael Jackson never did it. It was lies. I don't know. I think it was something like that. You know, everybody knows him. Unbelievable. Anything for money. But I do know that. The the kid Jordan Chandler Jordan or whatever whatever you call him, his dad committed suicide because he was he, he was going to bring down I th I think it was his dad was going to bring down Michael Jackson and wasn't and he wasn't going to let Michael Jackson sell another record or something like that and here's Michael Jackson here dangling his baby I think it's Prince or Paris over the balcony and Michael Jackson and his father. Michael Jackson with um, 
the oh god in color. Oh, I'll show you guys. You see guys? It's Michael Jackson on stand, which is just absolutely ridiculous because he was an innocent man and the way people treated Michael Jackson was just horrific. It was just ridiculous. Michael Jackson is innocent and he should have never have went through these allegations because there was no proof, nothing. And, and we see Michael Jackson holding, I think that's Paris, over the balcony. Uh, we have Michael Michael Jackson and his father right here and then we have Michael Jackson up here and down here but you know Michael Jackson's life story everything about him his legacy everything it's just incredible and this is the last thing I'm going to show you guys of Michael Jackson obviously on tour which is pretty cool So, uh, anyway, that's really all I've got to say for now. And to be honest with you guys, I am going to say that I might make this my last video for now. Because I've done a lot of some good videos of Michael Jackson from you know 2020 so in the new year in 2020 when people go to click on the video the video would the video would be uploaded from right now so when people click on it it will be new to watch and to remember that Michael Jackson is innocent and so on but I'm not going to say that I'm not going to stop doing my videos I'm not I'm, I'm that's not me you know I would never stop doing and talking about Michael Jackson because he's a legend, he's a superstar, his music is amazing. So, but I don't know when I'm going to get another video done, I don't know what to do next. Because I know we had his, his 10th anniversary and his funeral was in July there and then now his birthday. We're near at the end of August, near September, so I don't know when I'm gonna get another video done. But we've got October, Halloween, and we all know we have the greatest number one top selling album of all time, Thriller. So I might do something there. Okay, guys, I hope you guys have liked these three videos I've done tonight and everything I've said. You know, just to get more, you know, just to get more people to, you know, understand me and uh, and who I am, you know, and why I do these things, because everybody else likes doing the same thing I do. That's just the way life is. When you like someone, you just stick up for them, or if you don't like someone you just go against them but that's not what it's all about it's all about making the world a better place I mean like I've changed you know I mean I've changed over the last month or two but things do change you know I mean things are different now I am different you know I mean, I'm not the same person I was, you know, a couple of years ago, 10 years ago. I'm getting older now, you know, I'm nearly 26. And YouTube and my Facebook, Instagram, and I do have WhatsApp is all I have. You know, I, I do play PS4, my Xbox, you know. I know, I know a lot of people, you know. I have my family, I have my friends, and... I have all my subscribers I know on YouTube and my friends on Facebook. So I'm kind of popular, you know. I kind of like to be, you know, Scarface. And, 
you know, the world and everything in it. <laughs> you know, I always tell the truth even when I lie. But anyway, you know, Michael Jackson, you know, I hope he's at peace. And there's one thing I really wanted to say before I end this video. At first I never really believed in God. But I'm gonna t I don't I don't believe it no more. I do believe God because I believe I hope that my dad is at peace with God, you know, and God if I, if anything happens to me I hope I go to heaven but nothing will ever happen to me because I like to, you know, be alive and stay in the game and be the best, you know. That's what my father would have went wanted for me, you know. And it's all it's it's all my Facebook I have as my as my uh of what I think about myself I have it on my Facebook. You know, it's one thing I would probably be one of my worst fears of death. My father was never afraid of death, but that would be my worst thing I'd be ever afraid of is death because death is you don't know what's going to happen next. You know, I mean, you could be just asleep and you don't know, and you're like that forever, or you go to heaven or whatever, you know. So, if Michael Jackson, he's at peace, you know. I mean, people are saying he's alive or he's dead, you know. The same with uh, Tupac and the same with Elvis, same with uh, Paul Walker. You know, Paul, people thought Paul Walker's death was a hoax, you know. But anyway, guys, it was good to see you guys tonight again and uh, this is going to be my last video for, for for about two months so I will see you guys maybe in October probably in October with a video of Michael Jackson's thriller you know maybe I'll just put um, one of my, my Michael Jackson album on thriller the CD and play it and talk about it and you know So, that's all I've got to say guys there's no point in me ruling this video on because if, even if I did rule it on it's not like you're, you guys are going to you know, hear anything else I'm going to say because the only thing I'll probably say over again is the leaving that never land with these accusers now saying Michael Jackson did it and saying that everything they said was a lie they they only said it to protect Michael or something like that. It's just absolutely horrendous. It's just, I mean, it's just, it's absurd. I mean, I, I don't know, you know. I mean, waiting, I mean, ten years and then doing all this now. It's just, I don't know. And everything I've said in these three, these few videos tonight, the thing, and the only, I can, you know, I can come up with anything I could say I could come up with, is just let Michael Jackson live in peace. That's all I could say, no matter what happens. Up until now, or tomorrow, or next month, or next year or the next life to put it all at the end to put it out there the only thing I can say no matter what happens after this video I do let him rest he deserves the rest he has given us the best he could be you know The, the only thing we can do, guys, right? I mean, Michael Jackson is not here with us. 
I mean, he, he's not here. But he, but he's here. He's here with with his music. We listen to his music, and when we listen to his music, you know, he, we're, he's always with us. Every anybody who dies, they're always with us. The the memory, you know, memories and all that. There, good times, you know. I'm trying to rule the video on as long as I can, you know. So, so whatever else I have to say, I can say it. So I can just give myself a few seconds to think. Because the only thing I can think of is let Michael rest in peace. He was the greatest entertainer that ever lived, and he helped millions of children all around the world. And nothing or anybody can say anything bad about the guy. Because it's just, it's just really um, horrible. Anybody could do something like that. You know, it's just, it's just awful. And it's not fair to talk to someone who is not here, you know. <sighs> it's been ten years now, you know, and it's just time to let everything go and just, you know, but it's not going to happen with these accusers now coming out saying this now and they're not going to stop what they're doing and whatever what's going to happen but all we can do is is you know defend Michael Jackson and we know the truth Michael Jackson is innocent and that's all we can do and that's the way it's always going to be it's never going to go away and the very very last thing I'm going to say is that it's everybody is saying is saying this right now and it's all around the world Michael Jackson is innocent he was found not guilty on all counts innocent and but la but last but not least the facts don't lie people do MJ is innocent and that's it okay guys and I will see you guys October Halloween Michael Jackson's thriller peace